see the guy. Um, um, we men have some problems. When, when, we, when we're sleeping with a girl, you might be lying there thinking, this is going way too fast. And then you, you start thinking about something that sucks, like doing the dishes or bicycle racing or her personality, just something that, that'll give you those extra minutes, you know? And I don't have to do that. Because thanks to ADHD, I can't maintain focus long enough to achieve an orgasm. <laughs> I can just lie there like, oh, this sex is good. <laughs> McNuggets are good too. <laughs> I wonder if McLaren's gonna win the Formula One this year. <laughs> you know, they switched tires. She has quite a set of tires on her as well. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Bitch could go off road if she wanted. <laughs> she could actually use a pit stop. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> You're not in the Formula One yourself either, Annas. <laughs> More like Formula Bratwurst. <laughs> It can get a bit awkward. It can. If she all of a sudden turns around like, um, um, would you be quiet while we do this? <laughs> the, the modern IQ scale was discovered. Well, it's not like, uh, they didn't dig it up. <laughs> I find an IQ scale. Cool. <laughs> Bring me the brush. I don't want to hurt it. No, but they defined our IQ scale a uh, hundred years ago, 1904, 1916, depending on whom you ask, which was a completely unnecessary information to use at this point of the show, yeah. Uh, but what, what I find fascinating is the last 100 years, they, they've had to adjust the scale, five IQ points, because we, the world's population, in average, have gone up five IQ points. We've become that much smarter in just 100 years. Says a lot about our ability, huh? <laughs> Says a lot about the past, too. <laughs> we must have been dumb as shit. I mean, this is a polite estimate on my behalf that when Jesus lived, the overall average, what, average IQ was about 65. <laughs> then miracles aren't hard to come by. <laughs> I mean, Jesus was just a regular man in a world inhabited by retards. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, dude, got your nose. Ah, oh, it's a miracle! No, no, please, no, it's it really isn't. Oh my God, Jesus, is wrong, really walking on water! No, no, it's a puddle, dude. It's, you can try it yourself, it's okay. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus just got crucified! No, no, don't, don't worry about it, dude. Uh, it's an SM cross. Don't, don't. And actually, uh, it was kind of expensive, so would you get Mary Magdalene? Because I'm not gonna ejaculate watching you draw. So. <laughs> But another problem is now I'm 30 and, and I can't handle all this drinking. And I, I still, I can't stop either. And yeah, that's a fucked up dilemma. <laughs> because I wake up after five days of binge drinking, just think I wake up way too soon, way too early because my old heart can't keep up. So I wake up at like 10 o'clock with four hours of sleep. And, I'm, and all I can think of is I need to drink and smoke as fast as possible. And it seems like something in my body disagrees. Mostly everything below the neck, actually. <laughs> and I could just feel like uh, the, the brain is like this roll sergeant trying to round up the troops, you know. Gentlemen, it is 10.07. <laughs> and the right arm has bring, brought in a suggestion that we immediately after the morning wank start drinking and smoking. <laughs> but the kidneys have vetoed this. <laughs> They don't want to filter all the piss anymore. <laughs> of course, they didn't veto the masturbation. That's mandatory. Don't worry about that. We will wank. But smoking and drinking, how do people feel about it? But Longs, what's up with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> no complaints. Great, great. Stomach, how you doing, old buddy? Well, oh, chief, uh, uh, it's starting to wear me off. You'll manage. You'll manage. Liver. Liver! <laughs> what, I'm the liver? <laughs> I am? Oh, whoa! 
No wonder we're drunk. <laughs> Shit, I thought it was the appendix the whole week. <laughs> that explains why the colon's so pissed off. <laughs> it's a hard, hard job being a brain at this point, you know? The pancreas coming up. Yeah, I think this drinking is getting overhand. We can't keep up back in the... Who the hell are you? <laughs> I, I, I'm the pancreas, sir. Whoa, the pancreas! I heard about you, dude. What the fuck is your job? <laughs> I mean, on the brain, I know you, but what the hell do you do around here? I'm, I'm not sure. You're like Chandler and Friends. Everybody knows you, but nobody knows what your job is. <laughs> well, I help with enzymes in the digestion system. I don't give a shit! Come on, make yourself useful. Go help the spleen. He's been in dire straits since Tuesday. <laughs> and would somebody wake up the penis so we can get this show on the road? I'm already up. I've been up since 8 o'clock. And if you guys think we're gonna masturbate, I suggest we take a piss first. <laughs> then we don't have to buy new sheets again. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to me. You're wonderful. Thank you so much. Give it up for Lewis.